What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Bait It Podcast. I'm here. Uh, I'm Keemstar, first of all, and I'm here with uh, co-host Andy Milanakis. Hola. And I'm also here with Anything for Views. I just filmed a How to Basic video. And our special guest today, the one, the only, Billy the Fridge. What's up, boys? Thanks for having me in the house. Yeah. Now you might you might know Billy the Fridge from, uh, like, like, you and Leafy had a pretty big series going on, but Billy the Fridge is actually uh, a, a pretty good musician, rapper. Uh, what have you been working on recently, dude? I've been working on a little new album, uh, trying to step away from the YouTube memes for a second and get that, that, that real Grammy Award winning, winning <laughs> Macklemore <laughs> nomination. I want to be the next uh, Katy Perry, you know? But uh, today I was Ma- on a Dead on Dave's Mac- podcast. Yo, I'm allowed to make who? a fat joke because I'm fat. What about <laughs> Macklemore? S'mores? Macla- sna- uh. Snacklemore? <laughs> when, when, when you said Katy Perry, I was going to say, well, you got the tits for it. Hey, she's got some great <laughs> boobs. Uh, I met that bitch. <laughs> uh, dead on Dave. Um, yeah, uh, dude, I don't really want to talk about him. I don't really want to give him attention, but fuck it. I feel like those people are like, oh, I don't want not- you want to talk about it. You want to get off your chest, Keen boy. Go on a little bit of a rant, I, mate. Well, did you, I, well, did you okay. see me when I was on there earlier? Did you tune in? Yeah, I, I watched it because I saw you were on there. And, like, first of all, I think it's hilarious, right? Because for those of you that don't know, uh, you know, Bait It Podcast used to be, and almost everyone knows this, but there, I'm sure there's a few people that don't. But Bait It Podcast used to be myself, uh, Colossal is Crazy, and this uh, random guy that I picked up off the street known as uh, Tinfoil Tommy. And uh, basically, there was a falling out, and they went and made their own podcast called Catch 33, which uh, for some reason doesn't put out any fucking episodes at all. And uh, one of the people on there is Dead on Dave, who is a complete nobody that's friends with uh, the Tinfoil Tommy dude. And um, I don't know, last last podcast that we were doing, uh, Colossal is Crazy was on here. Um, you know, I, I think Billy brought this up privately. He was like, shit. Clown's been on here twice since Bait It split up, and he's only been on his own show four times. So that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's but- like 33% more. <laughs> I think it's 50, uh, but whatever. Uh, I'm good at math. <laughs> um, but my point is, is that um, uh, Clown has been begging me to go on Catch 33, and I don't. I don't like Tommy. The truth of the matter is, is the whole time, you know, Tommy was on bait it. He would constantly kiss my ass and he became really fake. And he kept asking me for more and more. Like, first of all, I given this person a career. I bought him a five hundred dollar microphone. I given him money literally because he was poor and he needed it for his family on two different occasions. I was at the point where I was like, okay, I've done a lot for this dude. Um, and he would like ask me for like Twitter shout outs and shit or, or shout out from drama alert. And at that point, I think we were like three podcasts in. I was like, oh, I don't like this guy. He's using me. Right. And I wanted to kick him. But him and clown basically made this pack because Tommy went to Cl- clown saying, oh, man, I'm, I'm, a, I'm worried that I'm going to lose this and I'm going to get kicked off the show. And then Tommy be or excuse me, clown being the good person that he is told Tommy, don't worry about it. If you get kicked off, I'll go with you. So, man, well, fuck because of clown, the- right? Fuck clown, right? (laughs) Clown's an idiot. Clown clown is clown is fucking like he he's too nice. He if you go to clown with a problem, he will try to help you out. He will go out of his way to try to make things right. And unfortunately, because of that, he has fallen victim of a lot of people using him and taking advantage of him. And one of those people is Tommy and Dave, in my opinion. And I'll get more into that in a second. But look, Clown has been asking me to go over and do an episode of Catch 33. I mean, he literally asked me on the last episode of Bait It. And I don't want to go over there because I just don't want to give, you know, fucking this tinfoil Tommy the time or day. But you don't, anyhow, you don't, you today, don't want to feed the parasites any more than you already have. Well, I mean, we're doing it right now, but because I'm uh, yeah, at the exactly. point where, like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck anymore, right? Like, you don't want to um, do the show. Tommy and uh, and Dave don't want you to do the show. Clown's the only one that wants you over there. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? 
Um, Clown's been bagging me to do the show, all right? Tommy and Dave kept calling me pussies for not doing Catch 33 and going on their show. So today, as a meme, okay, this was a meme, I tweeted at Clown, fine, I will agree to go on Catch 33 podcast, but I have some conditions, and my conditions must be made, right? Well, Clown was sleeping or something. He didn't respond right away, and I went to bed because I have this fucked up sleep schedule. I wake up, and Clown responded to me saying, good, what are your conditions? And I responded with, Tommy and fucking Dave can't be there, right? (laughs) Come to find out, all right, that one little tweet caused fucking Tommy to make multiple tweets about me, Twitter videos about me. It caused Dave to do a fucking two hours stream about me saying that, that, that now they don't want me on this show and that I'm not welcome to go on their show. And then you deleted your whole Twitter account because of it. That was the real thing. That was crazy. What? I'm confused. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Sorry. Oh, bad joke. Uh, that, yeah, that fell <laughs> Well, on Dave's show today, Dave told me he had some conditions for you being on the show, and he said there would be no conditions. So he put his foot down. (laughs) Like he's he's in the position to barter with his fucking 200 followers on Twitter. Dude, that on Dave, like, belongs in a carnival. That motherfucker does not, should not be uh, viewable on YouTube. I mean, he is such an ugly creature, and the words oh, that come out of his oh, mouth. Oh, come on! Let's hold not make no fun of people's value. looks. Came. You're not the most beautiful sorry. boy in the shed. I I am a very attractive uh, young <laughs> young man. Young no what, very. What fucking mirror have you been looking in? Holy shit! Uh, dude, I, I I'm telling you, I'm a good looking guy. But listen, <laughs> the, it's not just that the fact that he looks like a carny. He fucking acts and talks like a fucking carny. Like he has no intelligence whatsoever. I don't know how many times this mother flip flops on people. Like at one minute he's saying Leafy is the fucking devil. Leafy is the worst person ever. Leafy is a sociopath. Then like the next day, Leafy's a good guy. Leafy's very talented. Leafy has a great work. Like th- th- him and Tommy, they 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 flip flop on the things that they say so much that they have lost all credibility and they have no integrity at all. The words that come out of their mouth do not hold any value because they're constantly flip flopping. And on top of that. They're complete nobodies. You know, I, I fucking, and I'm sorry. And I know that's like, oh, well, oh, you got subs, so you're picking on small YouTubers. It's not that, dude. It's not that. I go to their social blades. Their channels are fucking dying. Their channels, like, Dead on Dave gets 22,000 views a month, okay? Tommy, who got all this juice from Beta, is only p- p- getting, like, 200,000 views a month, and he's losing subs every single fucking day. And this has been going on for months, right? So who the fuck is tuning in to Catch 33? They can't be Tommy fans. They can't be Dave fans because Dave does a stream and only fucking 30 people are watching. Tommy does a stream and only 300 people are watching. And these podcasts are getting right now like 60,000 views. So who the fuck is watching that show? Only clown fans. That's it. You know, we should help them promote it. If we think we could help them promote it. All I'm saying is if, you know, Clown and Tommy keep saying, or excuse me, Dave and Tommy keep saying, oh, we love Clown. Clown's great. Clown's the greatest person on earth. Oh, yeah. If he's so fucking great and you fucking love him and you respect him, Tommy and Dave, then let him go because you are literally holding that motherfucker back. Clown has talent. Neither of you do. You were both given an opportunity. You both have been put in on the spotlight on Beta and Catch 33, and neither one of you are fucking growing. You're fucking dying, and you're holding that person fucking back. Well, Clown has free will. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. Just because he's, you say he's too nice, that's his own fucking fault. He has to make his own decisions in life. But they're holding him back. They're holding him back. Like, seriously, he, Clown needs to come back to Beta, purely. Period. I'm not. I'm not, like, I'm not. I'm not here to turn this into a circle jerk, like some people in the comment section have thought lately. Although I don't fully agree with what you're saying in here, there's some major points that you make that I do agree with you. But uh, I'm mostly just here to make die in the army jokes and shit like that. But my name's Jeff. <laughs> one, one major point that you did bring up was that they're not growing despite their rel- like their their ex- like con- like concurrent uploads, and they're not growing with subs or viewers. 
Um, and I think their problem is is their opinions change too much for it to make uh, anyone matter or get care for their content at all. And I understand. I used to fucking hate your guts, Keem. I, there, there was a day. Where I still I, hate your guts. Yeah, I still hate you but, a little bit. But, but I'm still, I'm still gaining subs. I'm still like, I have relevance. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I, I was more pointing at the point that you, you said their opinions change too much, and that's true. And everyone's opinion does change on uh, what they think about people. But like you said, there's changes every fucking day. Well, here's the Dude. thing, because there's wait, this is very important. It's not about opin- opinions changing. It's about being fake. Because I'm not saying they're being fake, but if you flip flop. That's not a changed opinion. That's like flip flopping is being fake. Changing opinion is literally having a change of heart on a certain topic, so it, it, not they're, being they're fake. Flip flopping for their own beneficial gain, so that they're, yes. they're, oh yeah, they're, oh yeah. Tin, yeah. Tin foil, tin foil. Tommy is the fakest motherfucker I have ever met. Like he used to kiss my ass all the time to the point where it was just disgusting. All right. Anytime anybody goes on Tommy Tin foil Tommy's show, all right. The first thing that comes out of his mouth is, oh, my God, I'm a huge fan. All right. How the fuck is it possible for you to be a huge fan of everyone? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. You can't be a huge fan of everybody that comes in your show. I believe him when he tells me that. Okay, I I think he is a huge fan. (laughs) Uh, I know what what you're beating around at with with, with the changing the opinions for beneficial gain. And that does kill an audience. Like for me, for example, I'm going to use me as an example because I'm a prick. Um, I said something really fucked up on Twitter the other day. I made fun of H3H3. H3. I, I sent out a tweet about him H- saying, H- you know, I did that and I got so much fucking hate for it, but I didn't backtrack on my opinion uh, because people started hating on me for it. I mean, I got in a lot of trouble for it. And what I, I, mean, I, what I said, a lot of people agreed with me, but none of them have the fucking bollocks to go on the internet and say the exact same thing. Yeah, I, I guess I see your point there. But, like, again, you were just kind of joking, too. It wasn't even that serious, was it? it? It wasn't serious. It was, like, banter. And I kind of thought that he'd read it, have a laugh, and kind of, like, make fun of me back. That's what I was hoping. And, like, I was kind of thinking, like, the internet might take it seriously. Like, you know how, like, Ian and I used to have those fucking fake fights on Twitter? Same with right, Max and I. Right. I was kind of because it was like, about money. But that that yeah, turns into I, a low honestly, blow when it's about money. I honestly crossed the line, but it, it's like the same thing. They they will do that. They'll sit on Twitter and they'll make fun of whoever. They'll say like Leafy's a bad YouTuber, or Grades a ba- bad YouTuber. But the second that it benefits them, like Leafy's like, oh, I'll come on your podcast. Then all of a sudden they're best mates. You know, they're holding hands and kissing each other. I I don't know. I, I like Ethan. I like H three H three. I wish he would re upload uh, the episode when I was on his podcast, though. I don't know why. Uh, people have asked me why it got taken down. I kind of do know, but it's private, so I can't say. But it has nothing to do with me. But I wish he'd re-upload it because a lot of people want that episode back up. But anyhow, listen, we're getting distracted here. I just want to bring up the fact that um, Billy the Fridge was literally on Dead on Dave's show today. And, like, Dead on Dave completely changed his attitude towards me just because Billy the Fridge came on and defended me. It made no sense whatsoever. Like, the the, the things that come out of their mouth have no value. There's no value to them because they are just saying what they think they should say in order to get fucking views or for people to like them, if that makes sense. Well, I think I, think I sold you pretty well on the show, though. Like, I, a lot of the fans that hated you, too, were kind of switching with with what I was saying. I, I kind of, I, I like to play devil's advocate, not saying you're the devil, but everybody there was hating on you, so it felt good to jump in and just try and hit them with a different opinion. And I, I, I think I delivered it pretty well. That could be why he was flip-flopping, or I don't want to say flip-flopping. That could be why he changed his opinion. No, he, 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 changed, he changed on the spot because he was like, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to make fun of Keem, and hopefully Billy's going to be on my side, and it's going to be a good old laugh. It's going to be me and Billy making fun of him. And then the second he saw you like not follow his lead, he's like, oh, shit, backtrack, boys, you know? Exactly, exactly. Mm. And it's just like, dude, how can you be a fan of someone that is like that? How can you be a fan of someone that literally just like that they have no value in what they say? And first of all, like Tommy, like Tommy, tinfoil Tommy, his own fans are turning on him left and right because he is so obsessed with me and they all see it. It's like like he he won't stop talking about me. And it, and his own fans are like, okay, we get it. You don't like Keem, like stop. Because anything I do on social Social media. Tommy, Tinfoil Tommy, and this is why we call him Tinfoil Tommy. This is why his own fans call him Tinfoil Tommy. He makes these crazy conspiracy theories up tinfoil about Tommy. why I'm doing what I'm doing. It makes no sense. Tinfoil fucking Tommy. Whoever came up with that is a genius. Hashtag Tinfoil Tommy is trending. 
can I can imagine I can imagine what he'd look like with a fucking tinfoil hat. Actually, Tommy, when you listen to this, I want you for your next episode or next just just to be a fucking hero. Can you make a tinfoil hat and do an hour podcast wearing it, please? He probably will. So he's his so, like, listen, that's a defense no, the, mechanism. The, the, me- yeah, just, mechanism well, right? I want him to do it. Okay. Don't give him a reason not to. I want to see it for my fucking life. If he does it, if he does it, he's going to do it. So people don't call him tinfoil Tommy. Well, you're trying to start a war here right now. You said it on Twitter earlier. You said you're bringing a war to baited to catch 33 Hey, I'm 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 not carrying a rifle here. I don't want to die in the army. Andy, I'm sitting Andy, on the sidelines. Andy, Andy, Andy can you back me up a little bit here? Like how how for fucking five months I've been silent about these fuckers, right? They 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 talk about me every fucking stream, and, and I just I well no. yeah. I mean, uh, okay. I won't. I, how about this? To be fair, I'm not gonna back you up on everything you're saying against them, but I will back you up on the whole not being silent thing. And maybe I'm biased, but everybody says, don't feed the trolls. If someone's talking about you, just ignore it. Yeah, be the bigger man. No, but if if someone keeps on fucking poking and prodding at you, and you think you have a better argument, and you could put them in their fucking place, it feels good to put someone in their fucking place when you feel like it's deserved. So I will back you up on that part. And and I, I completely understand. I completely understand the point where people are saying, well, listen, if their channels are dying, right... And like, you know, just just don't talk about them. But it's like I I feel like something needs to be said. I feel like somebody needs to say, look, bro, you're you're becoming a little stalkerish. Like, why is it whatever Keem does you're talking about? Like and then and then you use this argument. Well, he's injected himself in this in, 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 in the story. Okay, yeah, I injected myself into promoting Kavas again. You didn't have to talk about it. But you did. Uh, I injected myself with having an opinion on Philip DeFranco. You didn't need to talk about it, but you did. I've injected myself in talking about things, and somehow that gives you right because I'm talking about that thing, and you decide to talk about the same thing. You get to talk about my opinion. D- d- like th- 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 this doesn't even logically make sense. You're fucking stalking me, and that's the truth. You're Some- stalking me, bro. You got to get over it. All right. You bait it, bait it with U.S. host Tommy is not on. All right. Yes, you had this golden opportunity. Now you no longer have it. Yes, your channel is dying. But you talking about me isn't going to save your channel. And if it did, then your channel would be successful. Now you'd be growing subs, not losing them. It's not working for you. You went as far, tinfoil Tommy, to tell fucking people that you are going to be the new new Keemstar, and you literally for months. Act it like you were me. You 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 became a fucking cunt. You talked like a cunt. You talked like me, and I'm just, I know I'm calling myself yeah, a yeah, cunt. Is this self-deprecation, <laughs> or are you finally but, coming out of your shell and admitting that you're a prick, Kane? Come on, we're I'm, making I'm progress. Thinking, uh, listen, listen. I can be uh, I can be arrogant. I can be like you know whatever. Have strong opinions and whatnot. I can be like that, right? But Tommy literally was telling other YouTubers that he was going to be a better Keemstar than Keemstar. What kind of psychotic stalker shit is that? Like, like that is fucking crazy. That's crazy, dude. It's it's just lacking I- ideas and, and content. So he's just got to ride the milk train for as long as he can. And we told you this. I think we might have said it on but the first it's podcast. It's not working. We said it it's privately. not working. His channel's dying. I know it's not working, but well, some guess, people... Guess who just resupplied it. him. Yeah, you're resupplied him. Guess who just <laughs> resupplied him with milk. So, Keem, if he talks about you... Give Keem a round of applause for calling himself a cunt and finally coming out of the cupboard. <laughs> everyone just... Round of applause. Come on, everyone. Everyone wants to come, please. Okay. Thank you. That, he that came. He came cut. out of the cunt. The cunt the curve. Comic. Yo, um, so if if these guys are talking about you, and I know you're like fed up, and you're like, all right, I don't want to be silent anymore. If he talks about you, every little thing you say, um, you know that's gonna happen tenfold now that you're making a whole podcast about. I it. I mean, it doesn't much, matter. Right? It's it's happening every stream, regardless. So it doesn't matter if I talk about it or not. My point is, is I want. I, I want the few people that watch me and him, which there isn't many, like he, he goes live and like only 300 people are watching. I just want those people to know where I stand in all this, because if there are a few people out there 
that um, are curious about my opinion on Tommy constantly talking about me like 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 a crazy ex girlfriend. I just want to make the point. Uh, yeah, he's fucking nuts. He's crazy. Like I I just want to make that point and and that you know these people really don't have any credibility whatsoever. You know the the flip flopping on me like when 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 Tommy's on baited, I'm the greatest person alive. I, I'm a I'm an angel because I gave this veteran I gave a veteran a job opportunity so I'm a great person right that's what he said when he was on Baited the minute that Baited breaks up all of a sudden I'm the worst person alive all right and I'm dogging on fucking veterans because Chad said as a meme I wish Tommy died in the army like it's just there's so much flip flopping going on I, I stand that, by that like, joke. You just you lose credibility and and the process of you guys being complete losers with no credibility with dying channels. You are dragging down clown. You're taking clown down with you. All right. Clown feels unmotivated. Clown fe is out. He I don't feel like he's connected to like where the people that he be clown belongs to be working with someone like me or popular YouTubers. He does not belong working with you guys. You guys are holding well, him fucking you back. Sh you shouldn't. You shouldn't be sitting here making Under a assumptions. guilt trip. No, no. You shouldn't be sitting here making assumptions on how you think clown feels. Next time you get we get him on this podcast, if he, we ever get him on this podcast again, you can ask him that and see what his response is. I don't am not, don't I'm, jump I'm, I'm to not, conclusions of how he feels. I'm not making an assumption. When I say that clown feels sorry for them, that that's the, literally it. He told Tommy, look, if you get kicked off the show or people part ways, I will do a show with you. He felt bad for Tommy because Tommy went to him worried. Oh, my God, I, I, I finally got a career opportunity and it might be gone if I get kicked off the show. Like it, it's 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 always been about that with Clown. Uh, Clown wants to help. It us. wasn't it wasn't always that. I mean, it wasn't only that like he, you know, Clown, obviously you guys are cool now. He had a problem with you when you guys broke up. And when he started this other podcast, it wasn't just like, oh, I feel sorry for Tommy. It was also like, team fuck Keem. We're going to do our own thing. You got to no, admit no, no, that. No, 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 I get, uh, no, I, I, I know why the podcast broke up. But my point is, right, he did the podcast with Tommy, all right, because he felt sorry for him. Clown could have done a podcast with Leafy and Grade. Clown could have done a podcast with fucking uh, I Hate Everything. Clown could do podcasts with popular people and be successful. But he did it with complete nobodies, all right, because he felt sorry for him. He definitely, you know, planned on leaving Baited with Tommy and giving Tommy this platform to do Catch 33. And when they brought on Dave, like, that definitely was for Tommy. You know, he wanted to make sure Dude, Tommy was I set see up. Sorry to cut you off, but uh, I see I see clowns fans every day bitching and complaining on Twitter that they hate fucking Tommy and they hate Dave. I see it all the time. All right. And you know what? If clowns fans actually liked Tommy and Dave, then Tommy and Dave's channels would not be fucking dying. Yeah, well, I, I think they haven't made they, they need to make a mark for themselves um, outside the realm of, uh, you know, them versus Keem, and I, I've maybe they haven't done that enough. Or, no one, or maybe but no one wants to, to listen to a bunch of forty-year-olds think they they're cool and hip within with the internet. Keem just. Uh, I guess on I need that. to kill myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shit. Exactly. It, it's it's honestly that like a bunch of young people, like eighteen to twenty, because that's the majority of like audience online. I don't know, maybe a bit younger. They don't want to listen to two forty-year-olds complain about crap that's just not relevant, and they're sick of hearing them cry about how much of a manipulator and, you, you know, the tinfoil meme that, that Keem is. It, it gets old. Repetitive shit gets old. You can see that with any other channel. And theirs just had a very fucking short run because after they got off the, the boat with Keem when they got that free promotion, nothing wrong with getting that free promotion. Good on you for giving that opportunity. I, for one, am not shy of taking free promotion from other bigger YouTubers. After they got off that boat, they didn't come up with their own content. They just kept fucking complaining about you and riding that train. I, just stop, bro. Like, if you want any opportunity to somewhat be successful, stop fucking talking about me because you're and and I'm not and I'm not and actually I'm gonna you know I'm not saying like oh stop bullying me oh stop doing it. I'm just saying like dude look at your numbers, bro. Look at your numbers. Is it working for you? It's not working for you. 
All right. And, dude, dead on Dave. He does this podcast or stream or whatever earlier today, and he says he kept saying, well, look at Baited's numbers. They're not what they used to be, acting like somehow we're failing. Are, 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 dude, it just frustrates me how dishonest these people are. and Or, or maybe, maybe they're not dishonest. Maybe they're just really that stupid, okay? Just so you know, like just to remind everybody, all right, in the October of 2016, YouTube changed their algorithm, and everybody in the commentary community felt it. Podcast, commentaries, drama channels, we all felt it all the way up to H3H3. Everybody's channels started going in decline at that moment. Now, some are surviving, and some are straight up fucking dying, okay? But Bait It did not fucking die. Yes, we've taken a hit. Yes, we got lower numbers, but so does fucking Catch 33. I mean, your first episode has 200,000 views. Your newest one that you uploaded a week ago only has 60,000, right? So, you know... This whole concept of, oh, new Baited's not getting fucking the same views old Baited got. New Baited has started in December of 2000, actually January of 2017, in the middle of this fucking YouTube fucking, you know, what do you call it? Apocalypse, right? And we're still fucking pulling out fucking good numbers. Like, so you that, also need to understand yeah. that a large majority of Colossal's audience left because that was the, I'm, I I I miss it. I think it'd be better with him here, and the audience were there. Uh, the too. audience were there for Keemstar and Clown, and Tommy was the side gig. Not that Tommy did a bad job. I didn't think he did a fucking very good job half the time. I wanted to shut up, and I bet a lot of people on this episode will want me to shut the fuck up about this. But when Clown left, he took half, or if not more or less of his audience with him. Everyone in the comment section bitched for months. Where's Clown? Where's Clown? Where's Clown? He left. They and then after that that ended, after people the people complaining ended, they just never came back. The views disappeared. Yeah. And look, I'm not delusional at all. Like me and Chad got a ton of hate, especially at the beginning. Now we're starting to get some love and people are getting used to us and, and people are kind of seeing the value in us. But I, I'm not delusional. I know that pretty much anyone who's giving us love now would way rather have clown than either of us. And I can completely come to terms and admit that. And I can also admit that clown is a lot better at being on podcasts and being a podcast personality than me and Chad combined. Well, I think Clown he has, is in, he has so, such a great voice too. Clown, Clown's <laughs> invited to come yeah. back. Clown is invited to come back uh, to be you know, on this podcast. Billy, I'm, go ahead. I'm, I'm so no, sorry. Thing, You're the guest. I Billy, I, first of all, <laughs> let me apologize. You're the fucking guest on fucking Bait It, and I'm just ranting and raving and not let you talk. Please take and it and away. Now I feel like Tommy and Dead on Dave want to fight me because I started this this one on, on the show as the guest. I'm scared now. It's, I, I don't want to be caught in the middle of the war. No, well, we but got no, you back, like, man. We got you back. A, another thing that not, not only Clown's got the voice and everything, but another thing he had at that moment was he was like the side that he was still friends with Leafy when you, Leafy, and Great had that falling out. You guys had a very strong narrative that drove Baited from episode one of the old Baited through it. Like it told, it had a, its own story that was being told from episode to episode that might not have you haven't had that 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 sort of thing with the new baited just yet you haven't had something other than the old baited falling apart you haven't really had a narrative to drive these podcasts from episode to episode Uh, you're 13 episodes in right now and it's it's definitely gotten to a point where everybody seems to be very cohesive and you guys are very chill and when you talk about something you know you all bring different opinions to it but you haven't had that that hook like when when it was the leafy grade problem maybe now talking trash to dead on dave and tommy c maybe you can give them that just enough shine they become that narrative and this becomes a world war of youtube and you know clowns gotta pick sides and then i'll sneak in clown's bedroom at night wrap him with a necktie choke him out bring his dead body back to baited like a puppet sit him in my lap and make him say whatever i want him to say i, I don't know this, these are options we have but but right now you know <laughs> can you do a british voice welcome to the all new baited podcast <laughs> That's fucking uh, fired. That's fucking done horrible. yeah no I, I i couldn't do a british i can't even do a british chick let alone a british voice they, they think fat I mean, people are gross I at the, at the, I kind of feel like bad about even talking about them, but at the same time, it's like, 
you know what? Like the, the it doesn't matter what I do or say online. Tommy will immediately do a stream and then have some type of conspiracy about how I'm evil and how I like have this objective to 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 run the whole world. Like it, it's just it, it, it's 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 the most insane shit ever. And I we don't need a conspiracy to know that you're evil. Yeah, we, we, we've said it. <laughs> even multiple even times. you admitted you were a cunt on this episode. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm just we, saying we, I can this, be. This has I'm been just a saying great therapy lesson. Like sitting, we, we're all, all I'm around saying you. Is I can notepad. be. All I'm saying is I so, can be. So so wait, if if uh, if um, Tommy agreed. And I know he won't because he said I'm gonna bring him up whenever I want. Uh, no, 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 no. Tommy agreed no. to not, never talk about you. I'm not. I'm not. Again. I'm not. I, 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 I'm not negotiating with with that dude. It, I wouldn't. I wouldn't ever tell him that you're not allowed to talk about me. Um, I, I, I would just point out that what you're saying about me and and all these crazy theories make you look like a crazy ex girlfriend. And I believe that's part of the reason why your channel is dying and the fact that you literally just i don't know you're, you're you're not that entertaining when you fucking put out some crazy theory and then 20 minutes later you change your whole theory like you're just like you lose all credibility and i i, I don't think there needs to be a rule where they can't talk about me i just think i want to point out the fact that like dude if you're talking about me if you upload if you have fucking like let's say 20 streams to your youtube channel and my name gets mentioned in 17 of those we, we, you're you're obsessed, bro. You're you're pretty obsessed with me, dude. Are those seventeen episodes getting more views though? That oh, they are. Anything with Kim Star on Tommy's channel that in hit with him in the thumbnail, it gets like three dude, times. Dude, not only of views. that, he like literally steals like our thumbnails. He'll he'll straight up steal our thumbnails from Baited and like do a whole response to a beta episode. I with recently our called him out on Twitter for that because he used some of um the artists uh, that did some beta artwork uh, in his thumbnail. I just straight up said like can you at least credit the fucking artist, you know? Like I mean it's it's kind of fucked up when you're literally stealing our thumbnails, making it look like it's a beta, knowing that you were Tommy, once on beta. Can you do a response to this? Can you use this thumbnail um on your response please i think that'd be funny what is it a picture of fucking tommy with a tinfoil hat because that's perfect <laughs> oh god someone <laughs> <draw> that. <laughs> someone please meme him with a fucking tinfoil hat i don't know look man guys I, I feel like you know i've just been going on a bit of a rant here and i wanted to find out uh more from billy the fridge like his opinions on uh on all of this yeah i i kind of Got into the whole community back in September when everything was going big with Beta. You know, Beta was where I would go to get the news on what was going down. And at that point in time, I didn't know Tommy at all until like way later uh, after you guys broke up. That's when I first started talking to him. And to have him like basically kiss your ass every episode. And I was friends with Leafy at this point in time. So like having him talk down on Leafy. And, ki and kiss you up so much, I thought he was like ride or die for you. And then when things split up and he went totally 180, it, it felt so fishy to me. Like that, that, that's like my one big thing with him is how he could be so aff like so affixed to your butt like during beta, yeah. you know, lips to ass. Just and, and he said it was for job security, right? He said he said he, <laughs> he said that's he said. He said he said he kissed your ass because he didn't want to lose the the gig he had, and and that's fine. You know what? I don't give a fuck about this, so, like, uh, I'll never kiss your ass. Keem, you go fuck yourself. If you want to fire me, that's cool. I, I, I like, have more. I, like I have. At, at times, me and Andy do agree with you a lot in the podcast because we're not really. Like, Beta used to be arguing. It used to be you and Clan going back and forth when, like, the community was at the peak of drama. Drama's fucking dead. It rarely happens anymore. Although yeah. we do get on to be a fair, topic where we are to talking, we are kind of agreeing with each other and throwing in our own opinions at the same time. And I know Andy is really good at that. At the same time, I'm not afraid to go on fucking Twitter. Or I'm not afraid to sit here and call you out on your bullshit. And I've done it several times on fucking on, on Twitter, you know? And, I, and I've called you out on I your mean, bullshit I, for being lazy and not fucking <laughs> exactly. streaming. And like, uh -huh. and we're, we're that, not afraid. Isn't that what makes people friends? 
Isn't that what makes people friends? True, being honest, calling them out on their well, bullshit. Well, all, maybe not, maybe not, that's why all, Tommy keeps on fucking talking shit, shit about me. Maybe he thinks we're friends. We're not friends, bro. I never liked you, bro. <laughs> the minute I realized you were fake, I was like, I don't like this person. And you just kept being so fraudulent, kissing my ass. I fucking called Clown. I go, Clown, this guy is not a good dude. This dude is fucking fake as shit. I do not want him on the cast. But you know what? You already sealed the deal, you conniving fucking snake. You already went there with some fucking pity bullshit to Clown, knowing that Clown is a nice guy, knowing that fucking Clown was charitable. You went to him saying, I'm so worried, knowing that fucking Clown would give you reinsurance. And because of that move right there, that snake fucking move, you dragged a fucking talented person that could be on a podcast with successful people to be on a fucking podcast with you two fucking randoms that don't pull your fucking weight. You don't bring views to fucking Catch 33. You don't bring views to your own fucking channel. You're literally sinking one of the most talented podcast people I fucking know. Colossal is crazy and some people might say well you hate it fucking clown. You talk so much shit about clown. Blah 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 blah. I never once said that clown is not fucking talented though. He is fucking talent. You guys are garbage and if you had any fucking respect for him you'd fucking end that stupid Stupid podcast where you're bringing him down to your fucking bullshit peasant levels. Yeah, fuck all of you. No, <laughs> well, there, there we, four... just, we just broke a wall. Holy shit, oh, King. Sh fuck. They're four episodes That's... into their podcast, right? And they were the ones saying that this version of Baited wouldn't last seven episodes. And this is the 13th episode. This is the, yeah, this is the 13th motherfucking episode that we've done. Bad luck, bitch. <laughs> that, was, that was one thing that really pissed me off, too, because they were always like, it's just going to be like them struggling to make episodes. And we do, we, we, we always off the limb, like podcasts, it's like an hour's notice. Like, Keem's like, Everyone online were doing a podcast. You will like that with them, but both of them were lazy. Clown is lazy. I'm lazy. Fuck, I was the last one here today. How many hours did you guys wait for me? Uh, we, we took naps. A long time. Yeah. It was ridiculous. And I did a yeah. stream. We, and I did a stream today and yesterday, bitch. I, no, I, I streamed for two days in a row. I had a fucking chick on my stream last night. No, I, hey. I like your streams. I love you, hey, Chad. You, and you know what? You know what? This is I can already predict what the response is going to be, right? They're going to play clips out of context of this fucking podcast, and they're going to say, oh, we got Keemstar so triggered. Oh, look how triggered he is. Oh, we have him triggered. Or Keemstar is trying to run everything. Well, listen, okay? If I'm triggered, if I'm triggered because I'm responding to all this shit, then you have been triggered for five months straight because you can't keep my fucking name out of your motherfucking mouth. Yeah, trigger what? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel so bad for Billy the Fridge. We're going to have to have Billy the Fridge on again, ladies and gentlemen. I like that. Uh, I like that. I I, th I'm sorry, Billy. I feel bad. We had you on as a guest and fucking just ranting about it's, this other shit. It's cool. I'll work on my clown That's impression right. so I can fill in for him. That's all right, Billy. <laughs> it's like you, it, Billy. It's like you were invited to your girlfriend's house for dinner and and her drunk uncle just started screaming and you didn't really get to hang out with it's her. It's like I went to my girlfriend's Wait. house for dinner and you guys were there in her bedroom playing with her titties and you wouldn't let me in. I had to listen through the door as keeps our pleasure her orally and I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, sorry. True, true. Oh, fuck. Where did this podcast go? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Bait It. Uh, the best tinfoil Tommy meme uh, gets a follow on Twitter. <laughs> Matter yeah, of fact, if, if you guys if you guys just take dick pics with a little piece of tinfoil over your penis head and tweet that at Tommy and, and at me. I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> stop. 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 Wait, no, wait, do Billy, let's do, do one that. each. Let's do one each. Come on. Oh, I got to get some tinfoil. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> do not do that. That has to be like sexual harassment or something. Don't do that. Just got it. Just got a piece of buy a piece of gum or something. And you, I don't know. Late, We're doing uh, gummers, know. gentlemen. <laughs> let, let me end this fucking thing. Listen. All right. Uh. You know, I hope one day Clown returns back to bait it. Um, but even if Clown doesn't return back to bait it, I hope one day that Clown gets on a fucking podcast with equal, equally talented people um, because, you know, I, I, I he's talented and I want the best for him. And I think those people are dragging him down. Um, at the end of the day, Tommy and Dave, you can talk about me every fucking podcast, but just know this. It makes you weak. It hurts you. It makes you look like crazy ex-girlfriends that you're obsessed with me. And 
I believe it's the reason why you're not growing. Actually, I take that back. Even if you didn't talk about me, you wouldn't grow because you're untalented. Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to another episode (laughs) of Bait It. Bye. The fuck?